So that's a menu bar PNG. This is a transparent black image. So this is what we're going to use for our navigation bar. So to, to do that, let's go back to our app delegate and we're going to have to create a new method here. Say customize app, for example, and then we'll use that image which I just showed you. So that's the menu back menu background let's call it okay so we have the menu background down there so now the best thing to, so now we need to use the appearance SDK so we will we'll have to actually call the UI navigation bar it's appearance and to set background set background image for bar metrics so that's gonna be the menu background and then we're gonna use the default bar metrics right and then so now I think we need to call that method somewhere so let's add that to the header and then the best place to call it is just before you know did finish launching with options so this is self the customized app so what this is going to do is going to customize our menu background for all navigation bars in this application so if i run that and i click on that you see now we have a nice transparent menu menu bar but our ui our bar button item is still kind of looks ugly so we need to change that as well so the next thing to do is going back to our article home controller and our view did load method this is where we can set that up so what we're going to do now is create a new back button which is going to use this image here so this image is going to call I think it's called back white this this one this image down here um, so what we're going to do is create a new UI bar button item add a UI button into it and then set the background of the UI button as the back the arrow the arrow image so let's do that so to start we're gonna have to say UI bar button item let's quickly create the view that's gonna be in there so we say UI image first of all let's load the image and then we say UI image image named so that's that then we need to create a UI view well actually a UI button first of all so that's a UI button And then the frame is gonna be, I think it's about 25, 24 by 24 pixels. So that's our arrow button. And then we'll see our background image is gonna be the arrow image for the normal control state. So now we've set up our button to have this as the background. So now what we now want to do is say UI view, create a new UI view. Let's give that the same dimensions. And then we'll now add this button as a sub view of the UI view. So well let's give that a different name because that's not gonna be work. Okay so that's it let's say button view add sub view so we say arrow button now we can now create our UI bar button item Then we'll use in it with custom view, which is gonna be our button view. 
and let's change the name to say back back button okay so now we have our ui back button item but that needs to now go into our menu bar so to do that we now say self navigation item that set left bar button item to be the back button and it looks like we're done so let's run that and see what we get so let's quickly go do a quick, quick recap so we have a ui image down there which is gonna be our arrow we'll add our arrow as the background of a button put the button in a view and then create a ui bar button item down here and we initialize that with a custom view which is our button and then we'll set the left back but left bar button item which is the back button to our navigation item so let's do a quick run see that's it so now we have our back button item problem is it does nothing so we need to connect this to uh to a selector just so that we can go back so what we would need to do is create a new method that's because we now have a custom view so just need to make sure that let's say back and then this method is gonna say sell the navigation controller pop view controller yes so now we need to call this when that button is clicked so let's quickly copy that and put that in the header just so we can get it so the best place to put it is going to be in our button view so we're going to add a target so if you go to button view our target no, no not this button view the the button itself so that's the arrow button so action is going to be the back and then for the touch up inside touch up inside control event So what this is going to do is going to call this callback, which is the back method, when the button is tapped. So if you run that, so if you tap on that, if we get our back button, nice transparent menu bar with a custom back button. Click on that, and then we can easily go back and forth. So there you have it. We have our two screens implemented in the complete application actually let me run the complete application for you which you can find on uh, at appdesignvault.com which is the newsreader theme we have more screens actually two more screens which is this one when I click on that we actually have another screen with a white toolbar and then some other icons in here and then um, some information about the article itself and then we also have another one with uh, elements which is has a custom slider three custom buttons and then the text input down there so if you want to download that you have to go to appdesignvault.com and get the newsreader theme and we actually have loads more other themes that you can use to design your apps and make them rock so thank you for watching this tutorial series if you have any questions just leave them in the comments and i'll answer them and if you want more tutorials like this Please come to appdesignvault.com or subscribe to the YouTube channel which is called App Design Vault. Thank you for watching.